skunks definitely have a bad rap. For anyone whose dog has come home smelling of rotten eggs, they can also cause an annoying inconvenience. Skunks, however, do the environment a lot of good. So how many times do you think I got sprayed when I did skunk rehab? Growing up in Kentucky, we called skunks polecats, but apparently that's the European term for a wild ferret. Well, they both have that musky odor. The skunk on the right is a classic striped skunk, but as you can see by my rehab babies on the left, there are a lot of variances in the ratio of black and white fur. Striped skunks are found throughout the United States and up into Canada. They are very adaptable and live in a wide variety of ecosystems. They prefer open meadows and often live near the forest edge. Skunks will nest or den in old trees, under rock outcroppings, and in urban areas in drainage pipes. There is also a spotted skunk that resides in North America, but it is far less common. Skunks are omnivores and eat a variety of plant and animal foods. A skunk's diet consists of small mammals, insects, and plants. Many pest animals, such as mice, shrews, moles, cutworms, cabbage lopers, and grubs are commonly eaten. They will also forage for hornets, wasps, honeybees, and yellow jackets. In fact, a skunk will raid a beehive. Skunks eat a variety of plant materials as well. Berries, roots, and nuts are among their favorites. Besides humans, the main predator of skunks are owls, especially the great horned owl. Since great horned owls don't smell well, they don't worry about the odor. Check out my video on the great horned owl. Most animals just want to get away from the curious skunk. Your dog may not be so fortunate. The skunk can shoot spray up to 20 feet. I will put this in the, the description, but a great recipe for skunk spray is one quart hydrogen peroxide, one fourth cup baking soda, and one tablespoon of liquid soap. Mix until fizzing and use immediately. Let it sit for several minutes. Rinse with cold water. Make sure to avoid the eyes and mucous membranes, and don't store this in a closed container. Skunks can spray as young as two weeks old. We used to refer to it as skunk farts because it wasn't very strong. So how many times do you think I've been deliberately sprayed? The answer is zero. Skunks are actually pretty laid back, and as long as you are not threatening them, they are cool cats. The only time they get pissy was when we gave them their vaccinations. Then we wrapped them in a towel for safety. Okay, I did throw away a couple of towels. Contrary to popular belief, they do not seek people or other animals out to spray. In fact, skunks give a warning before they spray by rapidly stomping their feet, growling, and raising their tail. If the threat leaves, the skunk does not waste its musk. The spray comes from two anal sacs that hold approximately 14 cc's of the musky sulfurous oils. The skunk can only spray once and then it needs to refill. It actually takes several days for the skunk's body to replenish the musk. Skunks are curious and will walk up to other wildlife. In winter, skunks will often retire to their dens and sleep. During this time, they rely, rely on fat reserves for nourishment. However, skunks do not hibernate in the true sense of the word. The gestation period for skunks is about 66 days, and the young are born in a burrow in the ground called a den. Skunk kits are born with their stripes and are blind and deaf. They are totally dependent on their mom. They open their eyes at three weeks. Skunks are excellent mothers and have a strong maternal bond. 
they will return to a disrupted nest to look for and save kits. A mother skunk raises her litter for four months before the kits move on. The cutie on the left is my first wildlife rehabilitation skunk, which led to many more, as you can see on the right. Skunks often come into rehab because mom is hit on the road or killed in a trap. If you have observed a baby skunk that is wandering around without a mother for several hours, has matted fur, or signs of parasites, it may be an orphan. Call a licensed wildlife rehabilitator in your area. Here's a cute video of one of my rehab skunks. Are you hungry? Are you hungry, little skunk? Yes, you want you want your you want your breakfast, huh? Yes, and the raccoons behind you are screaming too. See those big claws? He's already to dig up worms. It's always a very happy day when rescued skunks can be returned to the wild. Skunks can carry rabies, even though the number of rabies-infected animals is quite low. You should make sure outside pets have been vaccinated. Skunks may visit your garden, especially if you have a strawberry patch. Skunks don't climb well, so a strong fence will deter them. Remember that skunks eat lots of garden pests. Funny story. Way back in the day, I used to raise dairy goats. One cold winter morning, I was milking, and a large skunk came out of the hay, walked under the goat I was milking, looked at me, and ambled outside. I was holding my breath and not moving. I guess that's when I decided skunks were my friends. Pepe Le Pew is out and about looking for the perfect woman. From mid-February to late March, skunks are coming out of their winter cozy spots. They are looking for food and mates. Please drive slowly and watch out for wildlife. Skunks are polygamous, and males may mate with several females. During mating season, a male may travel up to four miles to find a mate. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Check out this video on Great Horned Owls next and have a fabulous day.